coverage in the National Football League on EA Sports. Just as we were ready for air, it was the Colts emerging from the locker room to great fanfare here in Indy. They're ready to go as the Colts get set to match up with the Houston Texans. This will be a touchback. Out comes Deshaun Watson, ready to captain the ship here for this Houston offense. And I'll bet right now it's just one thought in his mind. Win the game. Watson. He's going to look deep for more. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. He had to have circled this one on the schedule and said to himself, this should be a big game. On second down, a run with Lindsey. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Phillip Lindsey, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Texans have taken the early lead. Three yard line. So now the Colts will get their first opportunity with a football. And they'll be let out by the man running the show, Charles, and their quarterback. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the coaches view that, right? What? Who gave away the game plan? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious, though. That'll help them win. And they get him down, but not. And a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out. In Houston territory at the 49 yard line. Now, left side of completion is tight in. And, he and keep it from being a big game. Instead of an incomplete pass and no loss of yardage, it's a three-yard loss. And they've got it inside the 10 at the down right back. They're going to look to throw. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 5. Past the 10 to the 11-yard line. And that's where the return stops. So for Third down, Watson. He gets it to Cooks. And he's brought down the... from the 27. Watson. And that's complete to Cooks. And they get him down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. And he is going to go down. They sack him. On the final play of the first quarter. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. Sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? Looking to throw. Watson, and he's unable. But they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space. Make sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore. Or they get tired or they get out of position or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Tight end, no alley Cox complete. And he is going to have a coach first down. His ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Throw left side taken in by Pittman. And he will reach the five yard line before going out of bounds. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Now he's got his target. It's caught for a coach touchdown. Great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. Them still on the dot. From the gun on third, Watson. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. From the 50, it's Watson. Open man there is Collins complete. Faking the give. Now Watson. He gets it over the middle to Cobb. Watson. Throw over the middle, caught by Jordan. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. Warwasser's kick is good. And on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? And he'll get this up to the 34 third down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. That's going to 
will be caught by Alley Cox. On the give, this is Mack. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. But on the sideline, they're going to go on fourth down here. They'll run for it. It's Taylor. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. For the break. Back to throw. That's caught left side by Mo Ali Cox. Now a timeout. Man, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. We have reached halftime here. It's the visitors, the Texans, out in front. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Be caught up on. He'll look to throw. Hits his target to tight end, Mo Alley Cox. He'll look to throw. They'll find Paris Campbell, that's complete. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. That's into the hands of Mo Alley Cox, the tight end. Being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. That ball caught by Campbell. They'll set up a throw. And he'll find Pittman. Touchdown of the season. They'll try and run for it with Lindsey. And he's got the first before he's... Maybe some concern. Yeah, maybe a little concern up front because they're not giving him any space right now. And he is... Now the, the drag, that guy should be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Touchdown, Texans! Tariq Cohen, his second touchdown on the season. And the Texans have once again taken the lead. Become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to... They'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And able to get this one across. He was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. Flushed out right. He's got the first down and more inside the forty. Staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taking it. And he's caught. What a catch at the three-yard line. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it in high latch. Dropped at the one. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would. Now back to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Texans say they have it. They do. to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. So we'll get the penalty all sorted out. When teams backs them up all the way inside the 15 to start. Watson's throw taken in there by Cooks. That's he type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. DeForest Buckner. He's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season. Is this? To the sack on first down. Watson. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. DeForest. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's complete to Cobb. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Out to the right and complete. Closer here on third down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was a type of issue. The entire game. Oh yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Back of the end zone. Could he? Frank Wright, not so sure about that last call. He's going. 
going to go ahead and throw out the challenge flag. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Yeah, remember now, the call on the field is with... So the decision to challenge does not pan out. And that's also the at their 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Watson. That's caught left side by the tight end, Jordan. Here's Watson. And this pass broken up. But the KC here, third and four. They'll set up to throw. The toss here completed to Pittman. Try new size. Can't go with a try, go with a quicker guy. And sometimes even get out quick there. Very difficult to match up with a slot receiver. Play action. They'll throw. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end. Could put down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. Earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Trying to punch it in with Taylor. And he's going to get the first down here. As they give to Taylor out of the gun. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. On third down, it's Taylor. And he gets in the stadium fixated on Rodrigo Blankenship. And his kick is good. The Colts have won it. So this one winds up an Indianapolis victory. If we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them this one is now planted. So for the Colts, they're setting themselves up as a major contender as they move to 8-1 and one now on the year. And they'll get to stay home again next week as the Tennessee Titans come to town. Meanwhile, for Houston, their season is on life support somewhat now at 3-6. and six. And they will get a home date next week against the Los Angeles Chargers. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.